With the new Breath of the Wild sequel announced, fans have been slayed with the new trailer and so was I. And I noticed something in the trailer. Zelda has short hairs. Okay, that's fun and all, but no. What I wanted to talk about was the new evil introduced in the trailer and something about that jogged my mind. I'll not be taking the full credit for this theory as it was inspired by another fan theory and I'm just providing more evidence for it. So an article about Link's arm shining by Patricia Hernandez, link in the description. This article sparked something in my mind as I was reading it while I was taking a pre-shower dump as some of my best video ideas have come to me as shit left my body. As I read this article, the voice of Aaron, video game boy son of Han Game Grumps Hansen, echoed in my head. Oh shit, there's your first clue that this is part of the Zelda lineage. Yeah. And it reminded me that it was already established in Breath of the Wild lore that there was a time once that Calamity Ganon had adopted the form of a Gerudo. And I made this tweet. Check out my Twitter for my impulsive thoughts and mental breakdowns. They are pretty frequent. It was written that Calamity Ganon once adopted the form of a Gerudo. Ganon being a Gerudo once could have been referring to another Zelda game in which Ganondorf was a Gerudo but that would have been too much of a stretch and too blatant for the story to say that on the face. So in what context would it make more sense? In the context of Breath of the Wild timeline. In Breath of the Wild in which thousand years ago a hero of time fought Ganon and as shown in the cutscene slash art that in no way that hero resembled Link or his any incarnation in any shape or form. The hero here had features of a Gerudo. Red hair, same kind of nose as Gerudo and dark skin. The hero of time being Ganon makes more sense as the Gerudo lore as the Ganon that was a Gerudo was actually this timeline's Ganondorf who was the hero of time from thousand years ago who fought Calamity Ganon and sealed it. And there's also in-game item like Phantom Ganon Armor Set which was part of the Champion's Ballad DLC pack and can be obtained through the quest EX Treasure Dark Armor which was stolen from Hyrule Castle and could have been the hero of time Ganondorf's armor at once. There are some fan art of Ganondorf as a Gerudo in Breath of the Wild universe. It in no way fits the lore but it gave me an idea for this theory and it's pretty neat too so check it out. So if you look at the new evil introduced in Breath of the Wild sequel, we can see that it resembled a lot to the hero of time shown in the story from thousand years ago than any other thing in Breath of the Wild universe. So I believe that the new villain introduced is the hero of time Ganondorf who defeated Calamity Ganon from thousand years ago and Calamity Ganon being defeated again triggered its resurrection because both are Ganon and it is in some way connected and it has been established in Zelda lore that Ganon and Ganondorf are physically different where when referred to Ganon, Ganon is a beast for example Calamity Ganon and Dark Beast Ganon and Ganondorf is a humanoid form, for example Gerudo Ganon from different Zelda timelines. So that makes it interesting and possibly possible for two different Ganons to be in the same timeline and at the same time in a Zelda game as Ganon is just a name given to the big evil in Zelda games. And as in Ocarina of Time in which Ganondorf transforms into Ganon we can take that as an example of two Ganons being in a single game, despite them being the same person. This time it can be two different Ganons from two different persons. Breath of the Wild is famous for breaking new grounds in Zelda franchise and in video games in general. So this is not something that is being a too big of a reach and for the evidence provided, it is pretty much possible. 
Now the new evil can be something completely different or new which will throw this theory into the garbage bin. However, if things are kept within the current lore and then expanded and explored, then this theory is, in my belief, pretty solid. Extra! Extra! I found this on the Legend of Zelda wiki for Ganondorf, confirming that the corpse is of a Gerudo and speculated to be Ganondorf. And that's it for this theory. If you think it makes sense and you are writing it, then leave a like and subscribe for more as I'll be diving more into video game related stuff in the future. And if you have some more things to add to this theory to solidify it as I just wrote it after I came out from taking a dump, then let me know that in the comments. Or if you think this theory is utter garbage or you have your own theory, let me know that in the comments too. And that's it for this video and I'll see you guys next time. And remember, this is just a theory. Oh my god, Zelda with short hair!